Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jake. Um, I was born intersex, but didn't find out about myself until I was about 16 or 17 years old. <clears throat> Basically, I feel like a lot of people out there aren't educated when it comes to intersex people. It means you're born male and female, female and male. Both genitalia could be externally, could be internally only, one or the other, or both. I'm actually both. Uh, I have male, internal, and external, but also female, internal, and external. <clears throat> Growing up was tough. Um, I always knew that there had been something, and I couldn't quite grasp what it was because I was so young until I hit about 16, 17 and I seen some specialists because I never had a period um, and my parents always thought it was because I was just too athletic maybe but that wasn't the case. Once I found out um, it was pretty tough for me only because at that point I felt like I didn't know even more who I was as a person, you know? And it was a struggle because not anybody else, like nobody else could understand either. Like my parents, they didn't know, nobody knew. And it was, you know, how do you, how do you handle that? How do you tell your child that you understand what it is that they're going through? And, you know, how do you, how do you deal with that as a parent too? And try to help your child, uh, understand that you know this is something that isn't your fault and so on and so forth so i grew up very confused really started to feel ashamed of myself because i just i couldn't quite fit with everybody else and it really took a toll on me when it came to relationships that was always a struggle it's hard for me to meet somebody because I know that I'm gonna be at that point where I'm gonna have to explain to this person, uh, just so you know, I'm not pure male, like, you know, what they're expecting. Um, I'm a little more complex than that. It's always a, it's always a funny starting of a relationship, let me tell you. I never really had doctors or, or therapists or anything like I, I kind of just grew up and just dealt with it by myself and I was okay with that I figured I'd do my journey today you know looking at everybody else's videos about bottom surgery and top surgery it, it kind of it made me feel like you know what maybe I have a purpose to do this too maybe I could educate other people because I wasn't educated at all and it was myself. I was born both and kind of fits in that category, but a lot of people assume that that's what an intersex person is, is that they're just transgendered and no, that's, that's not, that's not how it is. Um, so today I figured I'd do my journey about bottom surgery. I've wanted bottom surgery since the day I can remember. I was really young and I looked all this stuff up at a very, very young age. Um, it's always been something that was for me. Like I knew when I was 16 and 17, they asked me if I wanted to have surgery to be more feminine. And I knew that that's not what I wanted because I knew that if I had that surgery, it would probably mess up my future as of today as I want to be completely male. So I just said, no, that's not what I want at all. I guess the older I got, I got to make that choice myself. And I'm very happy that I, that I waited. It's a long process. It's a very long, long process. And I understand that it takes years to finally get here, but here I am. I'm trying to go for phalloplasty. I am worried because I was born without like a canal. And I was told that the vaginal canal is what they use for the urethra lengthening. So it's a little terrifying for me to go in tomorrow for my consultation. Uh, yes, tomorrow I have a consultation with uh, Dr. Broussard in 
Montreal at the GRS Montreal Hospital. I have a feeling that there's going to be something that's not going to go the way that I want it to. And I've kind of come to terms with that. I know that there is or must be some sort of an option for me to feel more me. I haven't been there yet, so I don't exactly know, but uh, I just I just have that feeling. Just kind of not fair, you know? Anyways, so tomorrow, November 14th, uh, 2022, will be my consultation, and I will let you guys know how it goes tomorrow. Thank you for listening and watching. I'll, uh, I'll update tomorrow.